Do you really want to learn English? Hello students, it's Danny. In today's video, I am going to casually ask you five questions. I want you to answer these questions honestly. If you do, I think the answers to these questions can help you understand what motivates you as an English learner. The answers to these questions may even help you come up with your own English learning strategies. These kind of questions are like an onion with many layers. You peel back one layer and you find another layer and yet another layer. The goal is to try to get to the answer at the center. Okay, so the first question is a simple one. Do you enjoy learning English? Do you enjoy the process of studying English? Do you like the process of practicing English? If the answer is yes, then great. You have found English study methods that are enjoyable to you. If the answer is no, then you really need to do a lot of thinking about why you're learning English. If you don't enjoy learning English, what are your motivations to do it? If you want to learn English but aren't enjoying it, maybe you need to take a short break. I'm not saying to quit learning. Maybe you just need a short break to recharge your mind and your soul. Maybe you need to try out some new and different methods for learning English. I think most learners will say sometimes they enjoy learning English. This is normal and natural when learning a language. Not every learner enjoys the same things. Some parts of learning English may not be enjoyable to you, but must be done to improve your ability. I think the key is to study in a way that gives you the most enjoyment. Post in the comments below the parts of learning English you enjoy the most. Also, if you don't mind, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. Question number two. How well do you handle the stress and pressure of learning English? Learning a language, well, learning anything really, can be stressful. You have other things in your life like family and friends, a job, other studies and your hobbies. There's a lot to do in life. Adding learning English could cause more stress and pressure. Stress can happen in anything that you want to do. For example, I make English learning videos. There's a lot to do. I have to think of an idea, record the video, edit the video, and make artwork for the video. It can cause a lot of pressure and stress. Sometimes I just take a break from doing it for a day or two. This break gives me time to relax and enjoy other things. Then, when I start making videos again, I have more motivation. Maybe learning English doesn't cause you stress. Then that's great. But if it does, then you need to find strategies to reduce the stress. Post in the comments about how you deal with the stress of studying and learning English. We can all learn from each other. Question three. How self-motivated are you? What is motivation? Motivation is the reason or reasons you have for learning English. Motivation is your desire to learn English. I will be making two lessons on motivation soon. To answer this question, you need to ask yourself, why am I learning English? Is it to get a better job? Is it required? For you to learn for some reason? Or are you just studying English because you enjoy it? How much do you want to learn English? Do you have a strong desire to learn English? If you are highly self-motivated, then that's great and you should keep learning the way you are. If not, you need to find ways to get motivated and stay motivated to learn. You can ask someone you know about how to get motivated. You can search online for some tips about motivation. Post in the comments your tips for getting and staying motivated to learn English. Question number four, why are you learning English? Specifically, why? Some of the other questions touched on this question. You should be able to answer this question specifically. Knowing why you are studying English will make it easier for your self-confidence and your self-motivation level. So why are you learning English? Is it to get a better job? Do you need to know English for school or some certificate? Or do you just enjoy learning English? Post your reason why in the comments below. And question number five, how well do you handle failure? This is a big question. When learning English, 
really learning anything, you will experience some kind of failure. Sometimes it will be small failures, like getting the grammar wrong in a sentence. Sometimes it can be big failures, like going a month without speaking English well. So what do you do when you experience failure when learning English? That answer can only come from inside of you. So to answer the question of, do you really want to learn English? You have to dig deep into the layers and find the answers for yourself. We are always here to support you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.